Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, indeed. We're picking up with a new devotional in the Bible app titled Confidence and Calling. There's a link to that in the description if you guys want to follow along with us. And as always, I'm going to read the scripture, then Tori's going to pick it with the Devo. Let's do it. The scripture is Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11, and they say this. One day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets again. And this time the nets were so full of fish that they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in the other boat, and soon both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, O Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. For he was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught, as were the others with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. As soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. The devotional is titled Calling and Adventure, and it says this, When we respond to the call of God, we enter into a faith adventure. It is the adventure of a lifetime and not to be confused with bucket lists crammed with places to visit, achievements, and adrenaline. It is a daily adventure that keeps us centered on Christ and also prepares us for acts of daring faith. It is an inner adventure that leads to an outer adventure and life to the full that Jesus promises. Our confidence comes not from others recognizing us or our calling, but as we learn to recognize the voice of God. We can begin to participate more fully with the inner adventure when we realize that our yearning and longing for more cannot be filled by external entertainment. Yet our desires are so deep and so real that it feels as though they could be. Our bodies, full of energy, hormones, and sex drive, are clearly made for more than the sofa and the screen. Some sort of detox might be needed to enter fully and confidently into where God is calling you next. Turn off notifications, remove social media apps, even lock your phone in a drawer or unsubscribe from Netflix, and allow your body and mind to breathe again. Reclaim your imagination and creativity. It may have been quietly suffocating in the name of entertainment. Like the disciples in Luke 5, sometimes we are content to merely survive, but God wants us to be fruitful. We are fixed with doing things our way, but God calls us out into deeper water. We get attached and comfortable in our small world. But God invites us to play in his big world. And then there's some questions. They say this. When was the last time you did something adventurous? Do you recognize the moments when you are fully alive? And how can you prioritize better your inner adventure with God? Oh, my word. (laughs) Does anyone feel like this was directed right at them? Do you feel that? Because I feel that way. I I don't want to project my own convictions on other people. But as you were reading, I couldn't help but write this very small note down. I literally just wrote my phone. Would Jesus spend as much time on the phone as I do? Yeah. And I just let that, I sat in that. Actually, you probably read another paragraph or two that I missed. (laughs) But I had to sit in that for a second. I just thought to myself, wow, this devotional is so right about just us having this true deep longing and earning for fulfillment yeah and we're trying to fill it 
with screens. Yep. We're trying to fill it with success. We're trying to fulfill it with a leisure or stress-free free life. Yeah. We think that these things are going to complete us or to yeah. help us or to make us feel okay. Right. But the only thing that really does that is the call. I'm sorry. The only thing that really does that is following Jesus right. and following him into our calling is where that purpose will truly be fulfilled. And right. to answer that question, when's the last time that I really felt adventurous? I think honestly, if you're listening, which you are, <laughs> I would pause it and genuinely think, when was the yeah. last time I was truly adventurous? Cause the first thing that comes to my mind is the big road trip we just took. Yeah. But at, literally, immediately pop up my head, that was not on God's power. Right. I did that on my own power. Mm -hmm. That wasn't me being adventurous. Yeah. That wasn't me having to say, okay, God, step this failed this right. time, but I'm going to step out in faith and go into deeper waters to right. trust what you're going to do next. Right. And it was because it wasn't adventurous because right. it was all everything that I knew I had in my own bandwidth. And yeah, so true. I love that this devotional is coming out firing like mm -hmm. that. And I'm super pumped for it. Yeah, I feel like what was super convicting as well is like the fact that we're stifling our creativity mm -hmm. with entertainment. And it's like, wow, we're watching entertainment. We're watching people inside of their creativity. And yet it's stifling our own creativity and it's hindering our relationship with God. And now I'm not here to say like, oh, YouTube and podcasts and social media, like they're bad, they're evil. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is, man, maybe we should draw some more clear boundaries and actually prioritize time off screen. And then when we do get on screen, be way more intentional about yes. what we're consuming or what we're posting mm -hmm. and why we're on it and what we're looking for when we're on it. Because we can. We can totally entertain ourselves until the day we die. Like mm -hmm. there is enough content to watch 24 seven that we can dismiss our families. We can not be present inside of moments. I was just talking to my friend Kristen the other day and it's like, man, to be fully present on social media all the time is to not be present in your own life yeah. because there's no mm -hmm. way you can literally record your entire life and be present inside all of those moments. It's, it's just like, doesn't exist yeah. that way. And so to find that balance, to find that rhythm and to prioritize adventure with God, because when you're in a storm, what do you do? Do you go to a screen? Do you try to, just entertain yourself out of it to avoid the thoughts that are like swirling in your mind. Cause mm -hmm. I do sometimes when I have a hard day, I just kind of want to zone out and watch a TV show and like not be in my thoughts and not process things. But instead, what should I do? I should run into the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And that right there is an adventure, right? Like dancing in the storm, like that's an adventure with God to say, you know what, God, I might be going through something right now, but you are calling me deeper. You are calling me to praise you, to worship you inside of my current circumstance, but I'm not going to do that if I'm just watching a show, right? I'm like zoned mm -hmm. out in another world. And so, man, it's super convicting and it's actually very exciting as well because as we start to implement more rhythms, as we start to implement more boundaries, and as we start to step into more of the presence of God, our eyes will be open to his wonder. Our eyes will be open to what he's doing. And I feel like we're going to have so many amazing revelations. And I feel like you're going to be thinking so much more creatively. Like I will say sometimes when I'm rocking Micah to sleep and I don't have my phone and I'm just shut off in a dark room, I feel like I have some of my most creative thoughts because I'm not distracted yeah. and it's wild. Like yeah. why don't I just make that a priority more often mm -hmm. in my daily yeah. life? Yeah. I think the big well, I mean, I think there's a hundred takeaways from this devotional, <laughs> yeah. but I'll try to keep this short. 
I think one of the biggest takeaways is that there's never a lack of distractions for you. Mm -hmm. There's always another email. There's always another post. There's always another YouTube video. There's always another restaurant. Whenever I was moving to New York for my first time, I downloaded all these shows about New York on my flight up there. And one of the shows talked about how you can go to a new restaurant in New York every day for nine years and never go to the same restaurant. Wow. And it's just, there's never a lack of stuff for us to just do. Do, So what that, means is that we need to have Mm self-discipline we need to have self-control and we need to intentionally say oh i'm not going to spend time with god after i cleaned out my email inbox metaphorically or check on my dms or go do this no i'm going to prioritize god first and then if there's extra time where you can enjoy some of that absolutely because we're not saying that screens are the enemy our heart posture towards them is what is bad yeah so true want to praise that out i do Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this devotional today. We thank you for conviction. We know that conviction means the Holy Spirit is active and moving and working in our lives, God. I pray as we dive deeper into this devotional that you, God, would help us have more self-discipline to focus on you, to be in your presence, to put the distractions away so that we can actually hear your voice, so that we can actually step into our calling, so that we can actually experience the fullness that this faith adventure you've invited us into, we can actually experience, God. We thank you. We're excited. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, God. Amen, God. Amen, y'all. And now's that perfect time to break out the worship music, break out the journal, and continue pressing into the Lord. Yes, and y'all don't forget that you are God's masterpiece. And don't forget that we love you. We love you guys. And we're talking to you tomorrow. Au revoir.